Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, today we're just gonna fix our um, model class and the meshes and just make sure everything works as it should. Uh, but before we get started, please check out the description box. Just open it up. You got a bunch of useful links. Follow me on uh, Twitter if you want. Also, you got the link to how to compile stuff on uh, um, code blocks if you're using that and uh, also Linux and it's it's kind of you know you're gonna have to use that and, and some other material from the internet but it should work and then you got um, uh, yeah the discord link as well you can ask me questions there also drop a like subscribe if you like the content but otherwise let's just keep going so uh, in the model.h what I do is I kinda copy over I copy over every mesh right here as a new mesh right and I'll delete them at in the end but there's a few problems that when I delete them um, or when I copy them like this it kinda deletes its vertex arrays and stuff and we can't really use this copy constructor uh, that C++ provides so we're gonna have to make our own and we have to make sure that each mesh kinda keeps its own vertex data alright and it, it is kinda memory intensive in that way but um, but it's worth it for now. We'll find better ways to do this eventually. Um, but for now, we'll just keep it like this. So it's gonna keep track of its own. It's gonna have a copy of its own kind of uh, thing is here. And I'm just gonna have one init VAO function, I think. I'll just do this. So we'll we'll do this. Get number of vertices from the primitive. Um, and then what we're gonna do actually I wanna do this in the constructor so say I'm doing it here I'm gonna do this number of vertices equals number of vertices this number of indices equals number of indices alright so we're in this constructor right now uh, and then we're gonna copy over everything so for um, number of vertices I'm first gonna copy over these this vertex array and I'm gonna create a new vertex array this vertex array equals a new vertex kind of tedious uh, this number of vertices just make sure you get all of these right this vertex array at position I equals um, ver array at position I so we're just gonna copy that over now we're just gonna copy paste this again here so we're gonna copy all of this data index array equals new GLU int number of indices okay and we're gonna go through number of indices here and then we're just gonna copy index array equals index array so now we copied over all this data. Now what I want you to do is just copy all of this stuff here and go down. Uh, also before you do that, before you do that, just in, th in this init VAO, just do this vertex array, this number of vertices, this index array, and this number of indices. Okay, just make sure you do that and we'll fix all that. And now we have the other constructor. Just paste everything in here, okay? Just paste everything in here. But instead of number of vertices, we need to do primitive, whoops, um, number of vertices. Make sure to get these right, okay? So you can get a lot of problems if you get these wrong. Number of indices. So number of vertices, number of indices. All right? This vertex array, all right, this is fine. Number of vertices is fine. Um, and I'm just going to use this here so I know what is what this number of indices okay so uh, the or primitive get vertices and just delete all of this at position I okay same thing here um, primitive get indices at position I don't forget these parentheses so just take a good look at this code just make sure you do all of this because this helps us actually copy over stuff and this will help us to just have one init VAO function so I'm gonna remove this 
from the init VAO function. And I'm going to say, I'm going to remove all of this as well. And in the create VAO, we're just going to do um, this vertex array and this index array. Okay. And then we have all the positions and everything correct. So it shouldn't be any problems. Everything else is set up. I'm just going to make sure I'm not lying to you by looking at this uh, vertex array, index array. Okay, so you can completely remove this VAO, the other VAO function, the big one. Okay, we're just going to remove that. And we'll just keep this one, init VAO. And then if you go into your constructor, um, actually you don't need these either. Just, just do that, since we're copying everything over here anyway. And we'll have init VAO. Just copy init VAO into the other constructor as well. All you want to do is just init VAO and then update the model matrix. Okay, cool. That's fine. That all we're doing is just copying stuff over. Okay. And then important, really important here, just delete this vertex array, delete this index array. Okay. So make sure you do that and don't don't mess that up. That's really important. Um, and there shouldn't be any more problems here. We basically have everything we need. Um, cool, cool. Now we just need to create the mesh mesh reference object, the copy constructor. Okay. So we're gonna copy everything from mesh, the other object, and basically all that's gonna do is we're just gonna copy over all of this stuff and paste it in there so it's going to be its own little constructor um, and instead of this we're going to say obj dot uh, vertex array no what am i doing no what the hell did i just do okay we're here okay number of vertices number of vertices um, obj dot number of indices Fine, so now that's set. Vertex array is gonna be a new number of vertices, number of vertices, vertex array i equals um, obj dot vertex array at position i. Just make sure you do that. And then um, obj dot index array at position i. Uh, number of indices, number of indices. Okay, all of this looks fine. And we're just going to initialize all this. So we're going to make our own little copy of uh, of all the data and basically just put it into our mesh object here. So I hope you follow through the code. It's a lot of code. It's tedious. It's it's a pain in the butt, but um, but it's worth it. So once you do that, you're you should be fine. Let's just try to render this and run it without any crashes. Hopefully it will work. It will probably bug out uh, just like that. All right, so I found the problem. It was just this, uh, basically in the copy constructor. All you wanna do is just set this to obj.position, obj.rotation, and obj.scale because uh, yeah, that was wrong. So there you go, that was the only issue. And if we run this now, it should work. Um, you'll see the beautiful, beautiful stuff right there so it's perfect no problems so we haven't done anything special yet we just made sure it copied everything um, now in mesh destructor yeah it does remove everything um, okay so now we're gonna go into game and we're gonna take all of the meshes from init meshes and put it in init models okay so this is gonna be our first model and then we're gonna do a four um, four auto reference pointer i or pointer reference i this meshes delete i so I'm just gonna delete everything all right um, yeah all right and this mesh is gonna be pushed in and then I just want to go into the destructor and I'm probably gonna remove this because this might make it crash um, and I don't want it to crash so then we have our models there. Update, update, update. Let's see, where did I have the update? Here, where I was rotating it, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then render, just render the models. 
all that stuff should be fine so now we don't have init meshes right now so let's just run this and see if that works and if it crashes it crashes okay so there you go so now we have our objects completely in the model class and it didn't crash when I exited so I'm just gonna remove this um, and also after I do this I'm gonna do this meshes.clear just to clear the whole vector out um, and this is obviously not ideal to push it like this but uh, eventually we're gonna have a model loader which will get the mesh push it in delete the mesh and uh, everything will be stored in models so that's eventually what we're gonna do um, but let's just go into game.h and remove the init meshes now finally and then go into game again init where do we init everything let's see I think it was in obviously in the constructor right uh, init GFW. Okay, let's just see. These are all the initializer functions, so it has to be in here. Okay, sorry about that. In here. Uh, no, that's the destructor. In here. Up in it meshes. Boom. Okay, so we remove that, and then uh, yeah, there you go. That's about it. Init models should look like this. Just make sure you delete everything everywhere correctly. Look at the video again if you want to, if you're unsure. But just check this out. So you have models deleting here you have um, you delete the meshes down here in the init models function again and then you make sure to delete everything in models so in the model destructor right here so you just go ahead and delete all of that um, in here yeah in, in its own meshes vector uh, let's see so it pushes back those meshes yeah exactly exactly so just go ahead and do that and you should be fine now we didn't really rotate anything here um, but we can do that let's just do a void rotate function here um, and then we're going to do a glm vec3 rotation const okay I'm just gonna do this for auto reference I this meshes uh, I rotate ro rotation now this isn't around a the models own uh, the models own origin okay because we're not using this position right now so what I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna make sure all the meshes rotate around the center of this model point okay uh, an origin point almost and then if we go into just update here I'm gonna say this model models at position 0 rotate um, let's see back 3 0 0.f, 0 0.f, or 1.f maybe, 0.f. All right, and we just run this. Um, that should rotate it. So there you go. Now your model is rotating. Um, and yeah, that's your model, both those objects. So that's cool. That's uh, kind of step two in this model whole this whole model thing. Next video will probably fix the rotation, everything around this point. Hopefully that will uh, will make things cooler. We can make it kind of orbit around the point. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope it was cool this video. I know I had some errors and stuff, but I fixed it, and it should be fine. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope everything went well. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Right? Bye bye.